So why would you want to find out if a property is vacant or non-owner occupied? This is Dave at TitleSearch.com. For many reasons, including property claims analysis, it may be interesting to find out if a property is owned by a person, but it's non-owner occupied, abandoned, vacant, or even a second home. What's the difference? Well, it depends upon the intentions and representations made by that owner of the property. It could affect taxes, it can affect insurance, it can even affect asset protection if it's in a homestead state. Identifying the true owner occupancy on a certain date could be important. For example, if an insurance policy was issued as a owner occupied policy, but the owner no longer lives there, that may affect the coverage on that policy. A homestead exemption on taxes may require that the person live in that property. So identifying that occupancy status is important. We do that through looking at mail change of address, even things like magazine subscriptions, school enrollment, what's on the tax assessor's records. If it becomes a security investigation, we can do trash pulls. We can check tax bill mailing addresses, utility accounts that the subject may have elsewhere. Sometimes we've even found that the property was listed for rent or for sale on things like Craigslist or VRBO as a vacation rental in the past showing that that property was vacant, even have photos of where that property had no furniture in it on a certain date. If you need to verify owner occupancy or if a property is vacant or if somebody else is living there besides the stated owner or occupant, you can reach us at our website at titlesearch.com or for investigations at afxsearch.com.